we don't think about, about Invisimals as a video game. We're now working on trading cards, we're working on TV shows. And so we're they, working are the cards there? Yeah, that's, that's, that's pick, actually, pick one up. Yeah, that's, that's, that's some of the cards. Uh, these came out al already in Spain and they're coming out, they're rolling out all over Europe okay. in, the, in the next months. This has been massively successful yeah. in Spain. We oh, saw um, Pinini, I remember that from my childhood, <laughs> for football stickers <laughs> you, and films. You know, you know what, I'm, I'm 38 now, and the good thing for me is that some of the things we're doing are the things I was a big fan when I was a kid. Yeah. And I was like, oh my God, that's so cool. You've got a dream job. <laughs> yeah, I mean, first time you see a kid, you know, hunting invisibles in the street, it's kind of like tear comes down and it's got like, you know, I can die happy. I've done something yeah. that makes sense. You know, I mean, it really makes me super happy to do game, games for young kids uh -huh. because of this sense of fascination that kids do possess. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I always say that we build video games because the real world is too boring. And, you know, I wish we could all go, go back to childhood when mm -hmm. things were magical and fantastic, etc. Yeah. And that was Invisible is all about. Yes, it's fantasy, but yes, it's very important because kids really do care about these things. Mm -hmm.